seeing someone. He's good looking, like James Bond. I just sat at the bar, bought me a drink. His clothes were so posh. <laughs> no rips or stains on him. No grazes on his forearms. Shirt tucked in, like a proper man. He's got big arms. Like if you squeeze you too tight, he'd crush you. <laughs> Tonight, a film, maybe? Or a restaurant? I told you. Um, actually, I'm just driving, so I can't really be talking to you. I can. I've learned to. A few years, a few months ago, so I really have to. All right then, got to go. Bye. Bye bye. It's about loss, it's about mental illness, it's also about the blurring of the lines between uh, fantasy and reality. What attracted me about the project was um, the fact that it was a piece of new writing, so there was no um, external forces saying what the play was or what it was about or what you had to do. Um, it was completely fresh and new, so you could put whatever st stamp you want on it, you know. I really love it. I think Ella's done a fantastic job on the piece and it is very... Um, it's quite thought-provoking and quite, um, especially because of the the issues that we're tackling in it. It's something I've never seen very often um, in theatre. Mental health gets touched on, but not in the way that this play does it. You have the reality, and you have the fantasy, and they merge so well together. And again, loss and feeling lost and being torn between decisions. I think that's a big part of this: being torn and not quite knowing which way to go. So. Why did you lie on the phone today? Why did you say you were driving when you were sat on a bench? Sometimes people need you, but you don't need them. Sometimes it's kinder. It's kind of a lie. Right. Yeah. People can be needy. You can't spend all your time supporting other people. You have to look after yourself too. Sometimes. The character of Carla attracted me because of the, um, the love of of, of life and um, being quite spontaneous. What attracted me to the role of Dr. Tom? I think it's actually the idea of it being um, quite ambiguous. Obviously as the production goes on I'm finding that my character is it's lovely to play an antagonist in something as well, which is a dumb, something I, I tend to play very often, so that was a really nice challenge. It was quite exciting to play a role that is quite ambiguous, that we're kind of figuring it out as we go as to, as to who character actually is in scene to scene, which is a really interesting thing to play, whereas usually, traditionally, obviously you play a character that's very much one thing, one intention and playing it through and stuff like that. Yeah, it's been great, it's been really fun. I thought the role that I'm playing of Helen is very interesting because she's a psychiatrist who has her own issues and she's been through her own traumatic experience and is yet trying to help somebody else. Um, so it makes for a very interesting role to play. Uh, very, uh, I guess there's a lot of deep character work and um, a lot of background has gone into it to make it very real and make it come alive. As director, it's my job to kind of nurture it and, uh, and bring it into life, really. I've directed an awful lot of um, films, short films, and uh, a couple of feature documentaries, that kind of for. And it was really, um, seeing this was a really good chance for me to, to kind of stretch out into theatre. I think as a director it's important to be able to master as many disciplines as you can really. So certainly uh, uh, theatre is something that's got a huge heritage in the UK. It's far more um, revered in the UK than it is anywhere else in the world I think. And so as a director it's important to be able to do theatre as well as film. And it also, I would say that, um, that working with Organised Chaos on this production has actually given me already uh, new, uh, new directions that I can go in as, uh, as a director, both in theatre and in film. In my first production of Organised Chaos, that was last year, um, I played Clerk in Afterwards on our last tour. Um, really enjoyed it and again got the opportunity with Organised Chaos to play a role that I wouldn't necessarily do before, certainly something that was quite challenging for me and gave me an opportunity to explore different types of stuff that 
I wouldn't necessarily have got the chance to do beforehand. This is my first time with Organised Chaos um, and I saw them through casting website. Um, but I'm based in Manchester and London, so it was I really want to do something in the Manchester fringe scene. So um, yeah, they immediately popped out and they've had good reviews and, and I know people who work for them, so yeah. They're good. I like, I love my team. <laughs> I spent a long time in commercial theatre in Blood Brothers for about two thirds of my career. So to get the opportunity to explore new writing and do new things, having done the same show for so long was something that was really exciting for me. Um, and we all organised chaos with afterwards last year and, and now here at Broken I'm getting the chance to do two pieces of really great new writing and, and do roles that that um, you know, really challenge me and give me something different to do. I had heard good things about them so when I saw the role come up and um, I seemed to fit the criteria I thought I'd come along and I was um, uh, pleasantly surprised when the audition came round and it was actually an audition workshop which might throw some people, but I thought it was really good fun and uh, a great opportunity to just get to meet with other people that were potential cast members and, and just see what the director was initially thinking about how he saw the play happening and how he saw the role. Working with the director has been very interesting for me because I actually knew him already, as it turned out. We know each other from some short filming that we've done previously. Um, so it was uh, that was a slight surprise when I walked into the audition and he was there. I was like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> so I was like, "I'm the director." Oh, okay. So um, yeah, it's it's been really good actually because I um, we haven't worked directly together. We've kind of been in the same groups of people working on different projects. So it's been very interesting. There's been a lot of one-to-one -one work because a lot of the work I do is not actually with the other cast members. And um, so the, is, the scenes kind of needed a lot of in-depth thought. And it's been really great to have guidance from him. Um, not every director is an actress director. And um, I would say that Paul is, which really helps because you're getting that steer and that feed on what does he see as, you know, how, how the different scenes fit into the whole theme and arc of the play and the story and um, what's going to really um, work to kind of not just make your own scenes work but work in the context of every other scene as well, which I think is actually particularly important for my role because so little of what I do is actually interacting with the other cast members. I'm on the stage on my own most of the time, so I really needed that uh, support and guidance, so it's been much appreciated. Other things I've told have been TIE kind of pantomime, kind of silly things really, so to do something serious and that's up north in my, actually in my hometown, <laughs> um, Oldham, yeah, and you get to experience big theatres that well, I grew up with, like the Lowry and the Coliseum and the Lantern. I went there as a kid, so to then have to get the opportunity to perform such a great play there is definitely a big perk. When I saw that it was going to be the Lowry, that was quite exciting, so that's another thing that drew me um, to the project. Um, excited, apprehensive, because I haven't done theatre uh, since before training in education for about six, seven years now. I've just been doing more short films and stuff, so it would be nice to um, be on the stage again, you know, with an audience and um, get out there, really. <laughs> This is actually my stage debut as a professional actor, so I'm quite excited about being in front of a live audience. I'm looking, really looking forward to touring this. Um, I've worked as a technician on a few different tours, and uh, it'll be nice to be the one who barks the orders and gets some set and tears my hair out, really.